Hey, what's going on guys? Kerygma here. Today we're going to be looking at a, a speed farming build for uh, the Necromancer. This is using the Tregul set and using the uh, Command Skeletons. It's not the fastest um, speed build that exists out there for the Necromancer, but it's a lot of fun. And um, since the uh, Tregul set is the starting set um, th that you get, this one's, a, this one's a pretty good build. It's, it's tanky. Um, it's fast. It's like being on a permanent speed pylon. And uh, if you really have a really good rift, this thing will just fly. Um, if you've got a rift that doesn't have a ton of enemies, just like any speed build, you're going to get slowed down. Um, so let's take a look at uh, what I have going on here. We'll start with the skills. Um, I'm using the aura of frailty, and I'm using the devouring aura. Um, this just eliminates you having to constantly cast things and not have to worry about essence with frailty. It's just always up. Um, and the range of this is going to be increased by your gold uh, pickup radius so you can extend this frailty range uh, to kill anything around you by the more gold and health pickup radius that you have and of course you know you could always go the boon of hoarder and average band and really get just a massive range and uh, but that's not totally necessary um, because you're you're pretty close range with with, um, with your attack scheme in this build and the devouring ore is going to be giving us back our um, our, our essence and so you're you're constantly devouring you don't have to worry about trying to hold down a devour button at the same time so I, i've got these two um auras um rolling the main uh um one of the main damage dealers in this set is going to be using the uh, uh skeletal mage we're going to go with life support this is a um this is a skill that hurts you costs you health to cast which fits perfectly with the trade Ghoul build um if you played trade ghouls before, uh, you know the more you hurt yourself, the more damage that you do. Um, so we want to go with the skeletal mage, so we cause damage to ourselves, and um, and really get some pretty powerful mages here. Um, for speed wise, I'm going to go with a blood rush. Uh, you, there's no rune that you have to select with, with blood rush. Um, the trade ghoul set gives you every rune of blood rush, so it really doesn't matter what what you have here. So don't think just because you see potency that's what you need. I mean, you'll see a lot of people have it just like this um, and have nothing there. It doesn't really matter. Um, you have all the runes um, when you are uh, using the trade ghoul um, build. Uh, one of the, the biggest damage procs of our build is going to be the command skeletons right here. Uh, I'm going to go with frenzy um, with the um, with the command skeletons. Um, you can go with frenzy or you can go with freezing grass. Either of them work really well um, for this. Frenzy just gives them a little more attack speed, um, but uh, it, either either one works really well for this. I'm going to go with frenzy, um, and then. We're going to go with bone, harbor, uh, bone Armor, excuse me, and uh, Harvest of Anguish. I like this skill just because it gives us movement speed. We're going to be an extremely tanky build anyway. Bone Armor is not, not, really um, not really for damage reduction as it is for giving us more speed. Um, so Bone Armor uh, uh, will increase your movement speed for each enemy hit. So you want to make sure that, you know, go ahead and get a stack of Bone Armor as soon as you can. But when you get the opportunity, man, Bone Armor in the middle of everything, right? So you get in the middle of everything, Bone Armor, you hit a, a ton of enemies. And then you just, like, it's being on a permanent speed pylon. It's it's great. Um, it's absolutely great. So uh, Bone Armor uh, going with the Harvest of uh, Anguish there. For our passive skills, I'm going to go with Extended Servitude, just so we can keep our mages out a little longer. Um, if you're not careful, you can quickly drain your essence in this build. You don't restore it all that fast um, unless you're just absolutely wiping the floor, which is what we're going to be doing. We're going to wipe everything. Um, but you can overexert yourself um, if you if you're used to playing the singularity build and constantly try to spam out mages you want to get your 10 and just try to keep it at 10 but we want to keep our mages out as long as possible um, so um, we're going to use the extended servitude to make sure that we got we have them out just as long as possible we're not constantly over using our essence um, we are using a scythe so I'm going with a uh, um, dark reaping this will gain um, essence and life per kill um, this will help uh, in essence restore um, as well. Uh, spreading malediction. This is probably one of the you know this is probably one of the best damage dealing passives that the necro has. 
Uh, receive a 1% damage bonus uh, for each enemy affected by one of your curses. This is why I like the aura. We could just run around and affect everything with the freaking curse, right? So we don't have to worry about cast, 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 cast. It's just here's my aura. If you're near me, you're going to be affected by this. This gives us this massive damage increase, and we can continue just to wreck everything. And then I'm going with Fueled by Death. Oh, I like Fueled by Death. Consuming a corpse increases your movement speed by 3% for 5 seconds. This effect can stack up to 10 times. Just imagine the speed that you gain from this. Uh, as, as long as we're killing stuff, and we're consuming corpses with our Devour Aura, we're going to be flying. Uh, so it's a super fast build and, and a lot of fun. So these are the skills that we have for the build. Let's take a look at um, our... Um, um, let's take a look at our cube real quick and then we'll, we'll get into our gear for, for the cube um, I'm gonna go with the scythe of the circle um, or uh, cycle of the circle scythe of the cycle I'm tired guys uh, your secondary skills um, deal 400 additional 400 percent additional damage while bone armor is active but reduces the duration of bone armor by four seconds not a big deal we're going to be casting bone off uh, bone armor on um on cooldown anyway to make sure we keep it refreshed and to make sure we keep our movement speed up uh, but uh your your skeletal mages are a secondary skill so we get a massive damage increase by going with the sight of the circle this is a build that doesn't use engino it doesn't need it so it's also a really great build for like, farming torment um doing bounties as well it's got a lot of speed to it and you just absolutely uh fly for our um armor slot we're going to go with tasker and theo uh, again pet build we've got command skeleton skeletal mages we want to increase the um the attack speed of our pets by 50 percent attack faster and uh and they'll deal um they'll wipe things a lot quicker and then for our jewelry slot we're going to go with ring of royal grandeur um the reason for this is because um, uh, this will help maintain our six piece bonus because we're using um, the uh, Stewart's Greaves um, in this build as well. Um, so let's take a look at the um, at our gear. Um, we're gonna go. We, we'll have five piece tray goals, so we'll have the the helm, chest, pants, shoulders, and uh, and gloves. Um, Again, we're using the Greaves. We're using uh, the Greaves because every time that we blood rush, we gain massive movement speed. Now, these are only 84%. I think I've got like 97 somewhere in the cube. So I could go get that and get way more if I actually wanted it. As you can see, I had not even rolled, um, rolled the, these pieces of silver roll on them. Um, uh, so again this is just you know a massive movement speed increase by, by going with these and you get it for 10 seconds so you're gonna blood rush and then you're just gonna run right yeah so you're not just blood rush blood rush because you get two you want to make sure you've always got a blood rush you can keep your movement speed going like I said it's like being on a permanent speed pylon it's great um, for our weapon and uh, offhand we're gonna go with the uh, we're gonna go with the Jessa set um, I like this set because uh, again we're using the command skeletons um, but while your skeletons are commanded uh, to attack a target, all of your minions deal 400% increased damage. That includes your mages. So your mages are already getting the bump uh, from the scythe of the cycle, right? And they get that 400% bump. Now we're going to get a whole nother 400% bump. So you're talking about a massive amount of damage being done by using this set. Um, for our, uh, we'll use the uh, Nemesis Bracers. This will help uh, make sure that we constantly have champions and, uh, and elites uh, that we can uh, that we can battle with um, for my uh, for my um, Amy I I've got haunted visions it's not uh, this is the only reason I'm using this is for the physical damage okay it's the only amulet right now that I have uh, early on in the season that, that has you know physical damage uh, on it. it's got a high crit chance and this our high crit damage I'm sorry and, and the physical damage so it works well um, but there are a variety of other amies that would probably work you know better in the situation but uh, I, I took this one for the rolls um, again we're farming torment uh, so this is a super tanky build because of uh, uh, because of the gold that, that we'll be gathering in, in this build. So I, I went with just an extra multiplier here and getting that physical damage. Uh, and talking about the, uh, you talking about how tough this build is, and that, that's because we're using the gold wrap and we're using the uh, Boon of the Hoarder. Um, I've got Boon of the Hoarder max here at 50, so 100% chance of killing an enemy it means I have an explosion of gold, and we're going to gain 30% movement speed for two seconds after picking up gold. Since we're going to be wiping everything, we're going to constantly have gold um, to keep our movement speed up. 
And because we're using the uh, gold wrap, uh, we're going to gain armor for five seconds equal to the amount of gold that we pick up. So you just imagine you're picking up this um, this massive amount of gold. Uh, th this toughness is going to go absolutely through the roof. So as long as we're grabbing gold, um, we're we're going to be fine. And, and again, this is a build that really kind of just walks through and, and wipes the floor, right? It, it's uh doesn't doesn't really skip a lot. We uh, we're, we're going to kill, 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 kill. So we constantly have our gold up. Um, I'm not using the average band in the build. I've been testing average band in the build just so I could have this gold pickup. Um, but uh, I, I don't like not having uh, the three rings, not being able to have the ring of rule grandeur, not having the um, our, our circle here, or having a, a, a Crispin's uh, sentence. Um, this is a, a huge damage, uh, uh, you know, buff when you uh, when when you talk about affecting something by one of your your ores, it's just a huge, huge damage buff. So we want to keep um, we really want to keep this ring on. Um, and we sacrifice this, we don't get our our mages out. And again, our mages are a big damage dealer in this. We 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 maintain somewhere between four to five to six mages max at a time, and then we we overexert our our essence trying to keep up our mages. Um, so you know, for this, it's it's just as easy. We can run around and we can pick up the the gold. It's not a really big deal in this build. So this is this is kind of how I've got it set up. Now, I don't have the optimal rolls in my gear. So if you're trying to pause the video to look to see what the uh, what the rolls need to be on the gear, don't do that. Uh, I'll have a link uh, in the description of this video to the Diablo fan site where I'll have all the rolls that you would want to have on this build. Um, so. Uh, check that out so that you do have the, the right rolls on, on on your build now I'm sitting at uh, right about 858 Paragon um, uh, so uh, let's take a look at uh, how the build does on, on T13 I've been using this build on T13 uh, since about 400 Paragon it, it, it was uh, is obviously killing faster now but it, it's been working great uh, for me uh, as a good speed build um, so uh, toughness and, and I really like it. So let's take a look at the build as we uh, as we go through the play style of it. And again, just just want to keep in mind we are using the site of the, of the cycle in the cube. Keeping up bone armor is going to be key. Um, right off the bat, you're a tad bit slow because you've got to get your bone armor stacks and you've got to get your command skeletons rocking. So uh, you'll see that. But here we go. Let's check out the build. And all of our crazy speed. Gosh, you move so fast, it's so hard to pick things up in here. See, it can be, you can see it's, it can be really quick to overexert your essence. You see how fast that my essence drop. enemy there and again you want to be constantly grabbing any any gold that you see just so you keep up your 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 movement right gosh look at all the gold on the ground unbelievable in it Got a battlefield. This is awesome. I remember for five seconds after you know you wanna, your gold bonus is going to drop. So if you want to, if you change levels and you run into a point you don't have gold, just make sure that you uh, that you go and pick some gold up. Me. 
so just take your time with this build. You know, your first time playing through it, you may burn through your essence. Once you get used to, you know, maintaining your your mages, and you know, you'll be fine. Again, for torment, it's 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 great. I mean, you can see the toughness that I have, and obviously gone the bonus falls off. But for torment farming, it's really great. You can farm a ton of keys with this build. You're gonna do a lot of damage with the build. Um, again, it's not the fastest, um, but it's a real it's a whole lot of fun. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy this build. And uh, and hey, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the section below. If, and if uh, you like it, uh, give me a like. And uh, and uh, questions, hey, feel free to reach out to me. And you guys can always catch me at twitch.tv slash careermelive. I'm usually live every night starting at 6.30 Central Time and roll just to, you know, whenever we, we want to go to. So appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a wonderful one. I'll see you guys later.